Jake asked about tying loops to handles. Hopefully these two options work. I'm starting with about five feet of gutted quarter inch Paramax. Now I took out the strands so that when I pull everything tight, it sits nice and flat against the handle. Now with this option, your loop is gonna end up parallel to what you tied it to. And so what I'm gonna do is take my handle, I'm gonna lay my rope about 45 degrees so that when I bring the loop back, I go over the turn that I started. Now with this loop, I'm gonna come back up and what I wanna do is tie an overhand knot on these strands here that are covered up by this turn. So that the plating cooperates with us, I'm just gonna bend my loop here and I'm gonna tuck it underneath. There we go, now we'll pull everything tight. And if you see, if I pull these turns out of the way, you'll see that I have an overhand knot with these strands here. But I want these turns to go on top so that it clamps down and adds pressure to everything. Okay, we'll pull that tight. All right, let's get this thing set. I'm gonna tie an overhand knot down here. There we go. And now I'm gonna set it with a couple extensions. I'll put one extension here, one extension through the handle. Now we'll use some opposing force to get this knot set. And now we'll just use a razor blade to cut off these ends here. All right, so there's option one. You can see that the loop is parallel with the handle and this is on there very tight. You're gonna have to cut it off to get it free. So for this next option, we're gonna tie a loop that ends up perpendicular to your handle and we're gonna use overlapping constrictor knots. To tie a constrictor knot, we're gonna start by turning in an overhand loop into our rope. Now, sometimes you'll hear me refer to this as an ignition twist, and that's because it's just like taking your car keys and turning your car on. Now we need to add an underhand loop to complete this. To get this set up, I'm gonna take my thumb on my left hand and I'm gonna put it through the left hand side of the loop and touch it together with my index finger. With my right hand, I'm gonna do that from the backhand side, put my thumb through, touch together with my index, and now I'm gonna turn off my car or do an underhand loop. Now you can see I have my thumbs going through two different windows. I'm just gonna to touch my thumbs together and I'm gonna bring those loops together on the back side. That gives me a window and this is the window that I'm gonna poke my handle through. When I pull these ends, it's gonna tighten up real tight. So now I'm gonna tie two constrictor knots and then I'm gonna overlap them and run the handle of my hammer through. There we go. We see we have our four loops here. I'm going to overlap them. But when I overlap them, I want to make sure that my loop for my handle is on the outsides of my constrictor knots. So I'm going to join them together like this. See, I'm going to overlap. Kind of looks like a mess. But there we go. Now I have my one window for my overlapping loops and I'm going to put my handle through my hammer right through and start to pull everything tight. So this one's also on there very tight. It's one you'd also have to cut off. All right, so there are two options. Our first one, we have our handle that is parallel. We can put our hand through. Our next one is perpendicular, depending on what suits you best. There are your two options.